voices. My name is Jason Newland. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. My website is jasonnewland.com All of my podcasts are on there to stream, download. I have multiple web, um, podcasts that are available. You can find them on Spotify, Spreaker, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Castbox, and many others. You could just search my name, Jason Newland, or you could search by the podcast that you're looking for. as well as this Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis Podcast. I also do Let Me Bore You to Sleep, Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily, Sleepy Boring Objects, Stress and Pain Relief, I've got a Stop Smoking Podcast, Relaxation for stress and panic attacks. There's the Jason's Bedtime Story Time. As you can imagine, there's a lot. There's Chronic Pain Hypnosis Podcast as well. So there's a lot of different uh, podcasts available. Also on YouTube as well. So you can watch videos on there. There's four different versions of these recordings. One without music. One with background music. Five hours and ten hours long. Which would be ideal, I guess, if you're choosing to listen all night long. Don't worry, I'm not going to start singing the song. Although I want to now. So, I'd like you to get yourself prepared. You can lie down on your bed or sit in a comfortable chair, making sure that that chair supports your body. So if you uh, to fall asleep, now you may find that even listening. of this recording even just by listening to me talking about the different podcasts that I have my website and YouTube and getting yourself comfortable and all that stuff Thank you.
notice that you start to zone out a little bit. Partly because it's probably a bit I don't think many people will be sitting on the edge of the chair wondering what I'm going to say next or is he going to read out another podcast name or what's it going to be I wonder if he has a wonder if he ever has a website or oh, he does have a website oh wow Probably not. Probably not that exciting to listen to my voice. But it's not supposed to be. Although this is pretty much my most exciting voice that I have. Well, it's kind of the only voice I have. that there's part of you perhaps thinking that you can get on with it that you're going to do the relaxation session or you're just going to jabber on about nothing like a a weirdo and yeah probably that's kind of my style, or lack of style. That's part of this. Is because even though there might be that slight tension of expectation of maybe not really knowing what I'm going to say next. some bananas yesterday I was really looking forward to eating them and one of them I went to have one last night and it was too hard to eat too hard I could, you know you get a banana and it's just not ready to eat it's too hard so what I've done is I've taken them out of the freezer so hopefully they'll be softer by the end of the day you didn't expect me to say that and I hope that even though I might not be saying what you think or expect that I should be saying in a relaxation session supposedly hypnosis -y. you may notice that you start to feel relaxed you start to notice comfort spreading through your body a bit frustrated because I wasn't presenting myself maybe in a way that you would expect but of course if you've not, never listened to me before if you have listened to me before then nothing I say will probably surprise you That feeling inside of expectation changes. And any feelings 
terms of doubt or towards yourself or anything else dissolve dissolve like a an ice cube in a glass of boiling water or a frozen banana which seems to be the topic of the day I decided and instead of focusing on what the news seem to want us to focus on I'm gonna start a different trend today is all gonna be about bananas now you might not like bananas we don't have to there's no rules I don't think there's a law in the world that says that you have to like a banana and if there is why is there I would make up a rule like that. I suppose in a a chimpanzee world maybe. But then chimpanzees love bananas. Not that I know many chimpanzees. Most humans look at a banana. Yep, I'm still talking about bananas. And how do they open a banana? Well, you start at the top. You got that big thing sticking out at the top, and you pull it down, and it doesn't always open so well. It's great if it's if it's really ripe. Skin practically just it basically strips off for you when it's really ripe. The skin just falls off onto the floor and it starts dancing on the table. No, it doesn't. But if the banana isn't ripe or really ready to be stripped. a bit of force on that thing that sticks up at the top I like to think of it as this little hat the banana hat banana hat handle and this is an aside but when you was a kid did you ever used to run around after watching science fiction movies or television shows, things like maybe Star Wars or Star Trek, Logan's Run, which uh, Logan's Run shows how old I am, Buck Rogers.
psychologists in the 25th century and pretend that a banana was a lightsaber not a lightsaber like a that would be weird but you know like a a thing whoops a thing that you could shoot lasers through do 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 like that but of course it couldn't do that because it's a banana as a lightsaber it's not so good because it's curly I mean even if if you go back to Star Wars and you got Darth Vader and What's his name? His son. So, oops, sorry. I hope I haven't spoiled the plot of the 50 year old movie. So you got them to find him. Now if the lightsabers had been curved like a banana, I don't think that that scene would be quite as dramatic. Even less so if they were actually holding bananas. I don't think the movie would have done quite as well. People coming out disappointed. Well, I liked the movie till the <laughs> till the end bit. The special effects were brilliant, but why did they use bananas at the end? I mean, did they run out of budget? Why didn't they just use the lightsabers that they were using at the beginning of the movie and all the way through? But at the end, they decided to use bananas instead. I don't understand. So yeah. Anyway. See, even though Sabers might not be. I'm just guessing, but first of all, it might not be what you thought I was going to be discussing. It also wasn't what I thought I was going to be discussing. If you noticed that your mind has slowed down, that chitter chatter, maybe you felt that your mind was a bit overactive before, but now it's not. Notice how it's changed. you're noticing how your breathing is calmer your breathing is looser more peaceful effortlessly Without having even focused on relaxing your breathing. A feeling of well-being, maybe even pleasure. myself I can feel it arising I nearly, I nearly said arousing them by accident I'm glad I didn't I can feel it arising moving my body, a sense of just calmness mixed with relaxation, maybe a 
sense of contentment a sense of just general well-being for no reason feeling positive and uplifted for no reason for the sake of it. You can feel calm. Because it's nice to restrictions that maybe you've been carrying around with you from the past allow them to drop on the floor moving forward leaving the past where it belongs in the past just every muscle of your body that feeling of calm confident deep relaxation travels ahead of you positive.